I'm working on a project for the van for our upcoming trip to Baja. Um, basically building a roof rack. So I'm just here in the garage at home. Okay, just got back from Utah. And so now I'm uh, basically taking some uh, aluminum that I got here locally at Home Depot. Um, I'm riveting it to, uh, super riveting, riveting it to a hinge here that I'm gonna go ahead and then rivet onto the uh, um, deck here that I've kind of built. Uh, I'll show you what I mean here in a second once I get uh, some more of the holes drilled and then all the rivets put in. But that's basically what I'm working on today and uh, uh, or what I'm finishing today, uh, hopefully finishing today. And then I got the van over here and gonna go out and try and get all this stuff wrapped up, so. Hi, we're Chris and Tracy, and this is our van, Helen of Trovado. We bought Helen last year during COVID after all of our international trips were going down the cancellation pathway. Being in the healthcare industry, we were still tied to our full-time jobs, but really needed to get away. Well, safe to say it's been a lot of fun this last year. We've traveled nearly 25,000 miles in our van and have visited nine states and 10 national parks. We just hit our one year anniversary, or as I like to call it, the anniversary, and we've decided what better way to celebrate than bringing you along for the ride. So we've decided to document the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you like what you see, go ahead and click subscribe to follow along on our part-time van life journey. So we've got the drill press going. Um, I'm using this to kind of make more, uh, more accurate holes, and it's just so much easier to do than trying to use a hand drill. So I'm going about every five uh, uh, spaces here. Uh, that way I can put a rivet or two in the middle um, on the decking and that way um, I'll have a good spread between it and that way the rivets hopefully won't uh, hit off each other and cause a bigger gap here in the middle. <laughs> So one of the ways I'm attaching everything is through uh, rivets. Uh, you can get them uh, from Arrow, or Arrow makes them kind of like a lot of other fasteners. Um, you can get them at your local hardware store. I got these at uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, so um, they're pretty easy to find. But you just kind of crank down on this little tool and keep cranking. Eventually you get a little ping ping. And basically it leaves a nice little uh, rivet on that side and then a nice on this side. As I mentioned, this is the way it's going to um, close. So I didn't want to line up the holes exactly on both sides so they didn't overlap and create a gap. This way, as you can see, there's really no gap created. All right, welcome to the top of the van here. This is where we're actually going to put our rack in. So it's going to go along that side and attach to that rack right here on the inside. So there's little grooves here. And that's where this is going to attach. And that's going to allow us to then mount that uh, uh, deck that I've been working on. And then we should have us a nice little deck that opens and closes basically. Start it up. All right, our big project for today is finishing up our rack slash deck. We're trying to build this. It's obviously gonna fold over here and it's still gonna leave our solar panels so we can get the maximum amount of solar power out of them. There's our air conditioning unit. This is our vent fan. And this is me, just kidding. And that's our antenna. Got our recovery boards back there too. Oh, hi. All right, what, what are we doing here? It's supposed to go nicely right in between, like 
so, so we can sit up here, have a nice little seat, and enjoy the uh, scenery of uh, wherever we're at. Baja, descend. Those are the two things that we have planned so far for this summer. Deck out here. Where we have an easier time working. I was working on this by myself the other week with the 30 or so pounds of wood in there, and I'll be honest with you, I felt like an idiot when I realized it was gonna be a lot easier to just take the wood off. <laughs> Yeah, probably. It's done. Yeah, I can say that was pretty riveting, wasn't it? Quite riveting. What do the rivets do exactly? So how do they work? Yeah. So there's two sides to a rivet. There's this side. Well, no, no, I meant like how do they work for the rack? Oh, well, they basically replace screws and they're also quite flat. Um, and so they don't take up a lot of space. They replace screws, they're super strong. Okay, so it's like hold it together. Yep. I thought so. Instead of using like screws and bolts and everything which can rattle loose, these will not rattle loose. Ah. You see how there's a groove here? Yeah. These need to fit into that groove. All right. And then from there, once they get into that groove, we have to tighten them so that they stay tight. It usually like magically goes into the right spot because you like twist it and then it gets stuck. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, yep, yep, this is it. <laughs> That's going to look so good. Yeah. I'm so excited for chips and guac and marbs up here. <laughs> I'm glad. I think that's tight. It's tight. Yeah, that's, that's good. There you go. Now you see that board? Flip it over here. So I'm doing this to make sure that it comes over as far as we need it to. So to make a trip to the hardware store to get a couple extra pieces. Um, Chris noticed when I was getting on it to help drill the holes that it was bowing a little bit, so we're gonna try to get a little bit more support for the weight. Dun, 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 dun. Perfect than that. <laughs> you got it? Mm -hmm. So basically you're gonna put that between the two mm -hmm. the two legs here yep. to stabilize it. To stabilize it and give it a solid backbone. And then if I need to, I can add some more scraps up there. Alright. 
just to reinforce it a little bit more, make sure when we're sitting up there it doesn't bounce. Eye protection. <laughs> yes, these are proper eye protection. I mean, come on. Low budget talent. Right, let's go ahead and lift it over. Too wide? Yes. Well, not really, but yes. Shit. Oh, an unforeseen problem. Push it back up. Hmm. Do you think it's just too long? No, 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 no. So the problem is, is this bolt now sticks out a minute. Oh. And so, we're going to have to remedy that. I need a flat one. Remember, he's like, do you mind? Uh, we need a flat one. The bolt. And I was like, no, it doesn't matter. It matters. It matters. Do you need to go back? No, no, no. I still have something to For any project, it always takes three times longer than you anticipate and three times as many pieces of equipment. This is like our third set of screws we're trying. Thankfully, we live right across from a Lowe's and right down the street from a Home Depot. So I think also Chris being a pack rat might pay off because you might have something that will work. So basically the screws that he's putting in are sticking out too much and they're causing it to hit against the uh, air conditioner unit. It fits. It goes on the wood nice as opposed to that. Yeah. And it's now rised up a little bit. Yeah. It's going to be so nice. All right. We're going to get a second one up at a later point in time. But I think it's going to work. Definitely think it's going to work. Good job. Roof deck one of two installed. Okay, got a little bit limited footage here and some time. Um, basically wanted to film kind of the tail end of the project to finish the roof. One of the things I wanted to do is add straps to our roof rack here. So I'm making sure to put these straps on first before I finish up putting these boards down. All right, back up here on the roof. This time we're on the driver's side. It's probably a little bit more done than you saw in the last uh, little clip. The reason for that is uh, the battery died and they want to get a new one. And Kind of wrapped it up and then a friend came over and yeah you know the rest so this is where we're at right now almost finished actually got the straps in there for the surfboard 
This side's set up to carry things. It actually uh, has a hinge on it, so it can hinge open as I need it. All I gotta do is finish up putting down these boards, finish up this side, maybe add a support or two, and uh, yeah, we're done.